Hello and welcome along. Today we are back on Oakfield Farm uh, and we have a whole load of work to do with the cows. Uh, so I'm going to hook this water trailer up quickly uh, and then I'll show you what we need to do uh, because yeah, they need they need a lot of work today. Uh, it is um, early on on the fourth day of autumn. And if we have a look here, uh, we can see that the cows are actually quite desperate for water. But they also have no straw, no grass, uh, well, very little straw, uh, no grass, uh, hay and silage is low and power food is low. So we're going to concentrate on the straw, uh, the water, the straw, the silage, hay and the power food. Uh, we also need some water to the sheep quickly. We're going to go over there and do that in a minute. Uh, and the pigs, we need to go and clean the pigs out and give them some straw as well. So lots of work today to do with the animals. Uh, so we head over here first. Head over and sort this out. We need to move the JCB out of the way as well. There we go. Let's open that up. Start that up. Uh, we need to, looking over there, we need to clear out the muck as well. So we're going to leave the JCB just over here. And if we have time, we will clear out the muck too. There we are. Right, and we'll pull into here. And back up. There we go. Unload that. Now, I don't know if this has an animation for showing the unload. No, it doesn't. Nothing like that. Oh, and we're full up. Very quickly we're full up. So we're going to go and take this and just sort the sheep out as well. So sort of doing lots and lots of stuff with the animals today. Just trying to give them a good grounding going into winter. We're not going to do the grass because we do need to cut grass for that. So my hope is my hope is that we'll be able to cut the grass in the near future. And as a result it will all we'll, we'll keep the cows going for a little while. And in uh, and in doing so uh, we'll sort of we'll get well into the winter time and yeah and then not have to worry about them until a couple of days into winter I think uh, on day four in fact we will it'll be quicker than a couple of days into winter because it's only three days that this is done for so that means that we are yeah we are going to have to do a load of work with them come the first day of winter but if we prepare for that if we do a grass cut on the last day of autumn we might be able to get grass to the cows for at least half of winter which would be very useful pretty there's no grass storage facility because we could really do with that with seasons cows are never up to 100% uh, without grass and it means every three days we need to cut grass. Right, let's give the sheep the rest of this water. There we go. Wow, so that wasn't quite a full trailer uh, load to fill up both our cows and our sheep. I think that will change come the new year. And I think we may end up having to get more. Because uh, we're going to be doing... Uh, we're going to get some more sheep and some more cows. Definitely, I think. Uh, as well as buying more fields. Uh, I pretty much decided I want to buy field 10. Uh, sorry, field 12, which is up the top. Uh, opposite field uh, 10, which I think was the one we were doing uh, the other day. We were doing our... Uh, doing our spreading on. Right, so uh, we'll just park this back up in the shed. I will refill it later. Refill it next time we need it. There we go. Quite useful little water bowser that. But as I said, I think we may need a bigger one if we increase uh, 
the number of cows and uh, sheep that we have. Right, so next we want to head into here uh, for... Let's do the straw bales first. There we go. Hook that up. Pull it out. And then we will reverse back so that we can easily load it. Like so. Perfect. Right, so the next thing we need to do. That should give us enough space there to get out. Or to get past with the JCB, because we need to get the JCB through there, I think. Right, we'll just run down here. Grab, uh, well, open this gate. Because we're going to go and clear out the manure next. So lift that up. Back we go. Need to remember to shut this gate after us, because we don't want any escapey cows. There we are. Right, now this bucket has a camera on it. So, actually it's quite useful when you're doing this job. Let's drop it down to the ground. Excuse me, Bessie. <laughs> uh, not going to move. Okay. Try not to take your legs out. Uh, I like to try and keep it realistic with cows, but sometimes that's just not an option. Right, switch around to there. Now, we should be alright leaving this open just while we're going backwards and forwards here. Actually, we'll close the far gate and that makes sure that they stay in. We are going to use all of this for our fruit. So all the manure we use, we use for the fruit. The fruit's actually coming to an end. Uh, we're not going to do any fruit work over the winter. Right, before I get in here, I think our tractor is clear of it. Yes, it is. Good. There we go. Pull that closed. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to do any more fruit work for the rest of the year. Uh, so, we'll let the manure build up so that come next springtime, we can, uh, we can get some more fruit going. Very nice. Perfect. Yeah, we're already 45% full. So I think we're going to have one more bucket out of this, maybe. Or maybe half a bucket. I don't know, actually. We're not... Wait... Follow that cow out. Uh, 71%. Okay, so we're not that full. It is only two buckets. I do really quite like this JCB. For all its foibles, it actually works really well. Once, once you get used to the oddities of it, it really does work well. There we go. Right around. And out. Like so. Right, that's that job done. We'll go and close that gate. I don't think there's... Yeah, there's not much grass. So we're going to close that gate. And then... We'll pop down 
And I just need to run and grab the bale spike, which is down uh, down in our fruit yard because we were using it with the compost maker. All right, so we'll drop this off in the main shed on the way. And uh, I will see you back here in a minute. Okay, so I'm back from the compost maker with our uh, with our bale spike. We I've discovered that we only actually need one bale in the uh, bale trailer, uh, in our straw blower. So we're only going to grab one off the top of the pile here. Right. That. There we go. There we are. Such a difficult thing to do. Right, there we go. That I do need to reverse. The uh, the way that works is opposite to how I'd expect it to. Right, and in that goes. We've got two bales in that, so that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now this should be enough to sort our cows out. And I hope so. Close that door, and away we go. There we are. And let's empty it out. Where is our trigger? He's down the end here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, it's uh, there's only a very small trigger for the straw on this. Right, and then we got a second one. There we go. So that has sorted the cows out. Seventy-five percent left. We'll park this in the barn. Like so. Way. Much easier to reverse this in cab. If I can just. So we've got a lot of straw in our um, feeding wagon. Oh, no, that wasn't. There we go. And then round into the end. And then that's parked. Good. Right, let's get the feeding wagon hooked up. And then we'll reverse that out and get that loaded up. So it currently has. Oh, there we go. Uh. So it currently has straw in, but no, uh, no straw at all. Okay, so that's fine. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to need our bucket for this as well. Let's reverse this out. And I think this will take a couple of these, to be honest. So that will be good. There we go. Right, and in, open that and out. Right, so I've left the bucket in the uh, shed, uh, so that's all right. Uh, first, I'm going to go and get a hay bale from in here. go. Plonk that in. And then we'll just drop the uh, drop our bit off the front. So. And in. There we are. Right. Let's plonk this down here. And then what we're going to do is go and get our bucket. 
which is now sitting in but yeah so it's now got it's now got no straw in it at all uh, which is great so we want to put the straw in last because the straw you have to be very careful how much you put in and we always sort of top off with silage now we should have our silage ready this is <laughs> if this if the silage is not ready if the silage clamp is uh, yeah has not fully fermented this may cause an issue but I think it should be at this point I think we should have a load of silage down here it was like 81% last time I looked at it uh, and if not, there is a little bit of silage out the front, but I think we would be struggling. But let's go and have a look at this. Yes, it is. So, how do we uncloak this? Let's open this, the... Uh... Can I find it? There we go. Clamp is open. Perfect. So, yeah, we have a lot of silage. This will do us the entire winter, this pile of silage in here. Ah, it would be fantastic for us. And means that we will... Uh, means we will be in a good place. Right. And... There we go. So that puts the silage in there. And should even it out. There we are. Right, so now we need to switch back to the other one. And go and grab us a, uh, a straw bale. I think what we'll do next is we will start the second load of this because they will take more more than one load of this. Uh, we'll start the second load of this with a um, uh, with the bucket of silage. There we go. Now we're clear. Get our straw bale in. Right, so perfect. There we go. Absolutely perfect ratio. I think that's pretty full. Yeah, 93% full. So that's good. Let's go uh let's go empty it out. So pull alongside like this. Oh. Ha! I forgot to turn my silage mixer on. So what we're going to do is while we're waiting for this to mix. Because I have a mod on here that means you have to mix the silage first. So we will leave this mixing. And while that's doing, we're going to pop over to the pigs. And, uh, and sort them out instead. So let's have a look on the map. There's our pigs. Let's visit the pigs. There we are. In with them. Uh, let's go clean them up quickly. And by the time we get back then, what we should discover is that the, uh, the silage has fully mixed. And we will be in a position where we can sort it out. Alright, there we go. And get them fed. But yeah, we've, we've looked after our animals. We've given water to the sheep today. We've, uh, we're clearing up the pigs, because the pigs need clearing up. And, uh, and yeah, we're given, we're given straw and we're going to mix ration to the cows. 
So that's basically a good uh, gamut of the um, of the animals, uh, animal work. And we'll look after them for a while on the farm, which is good. Uh, we have a load of pig food that we will be creating when we do um, corn next episode. So we're going to be harvesting corn next time uh, and making pig food from it. Uh, which will be good. Because we need to make some more pig food. There we go. We'll jump out of that. Like so. And, uh, and let's go back up to the farm. So uh, back up to our cows. Oh, if I get the right place. There we go. So let's go and see if our mixing wagon has mixed our feed. Uh, which it has. We got total mixed ration. So let's empty that out. There we go. Perfect. So, uh, yeah. That is just about it, I think. Uh, I will make sure that I've got some more total mixed ration in here. And we may do that. Oh, we'll do that a bit later, maybe. But, uh, yeah, we have got mixed ration coming out. And, uh, and done. So, our cows now have... Ah, our cows actually are not far off being fully fed. So, uh, yeah, I can sort that out very soon. But for now, I think that's where I'm going to end it. So, uh, really, uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.